do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we will be discussing about mercury barometer what the instrument is used for it is used for measuring the atmospheric pressure so let mercury barometer students let us start with the mercury barometer mercury barometer was uh, this uh, device was uh, designed by italian scientist torricelli so he was trying to find the pressure of the atmosphere so he devised containing mercury and he took a tube of very long tube around 1 meter tube containing uh, filled with uh, mercury and he took another vessel containing mercury so in that one vessel containing the mercury the other one containing the the mercury in the tube what he did was he took the mercury to the full length of the tube to the brim closed it closed the open end which is filled with mercury closed it and then inverted it and then put it inside the mercury vessel so what you are doing there is a container which is filled with mercury so this filled with mercury he took a tube very long he first filled the tube with mercury then closed it with a thumb and inverted it and then inserted it in the mercury vessel this is the inverted figure of that tube which contains the mercury so as soon as because by the time it was uh, inserted into the mercury there was no air inside the tube it was only having it was only having the mercury because earlier it was filled completely filled with mercury so now also it is having only mercury and this is the mercury which is outside in the vessel this is the mercury now what will happen now the basic concept of finding the pressure so this is nothing but mercury this is also nothing but mercury now the what is atmospheric pressure we have already discussed that the pressure at any point due to any fluid if it is water then suppose the water from this point is extending from this point in this direction is extending up to h meter then the pressure at this point is rho density of the liquid g the acceleration due to gravity and h the height of the liquid column or the fluid present here if i increase the height of the fluid then the pressure will increase if i decrease the height of the fluid then pressure will decrease that pressure formula that we have already discussed in the previous videos so pressure is rho g h basically it deals with the is directly proportional to the height of the liquid column present or the fluid present then what is the pressure of atmosphere the pressure of the atmosphere is suppose this is the ground or surface 
then from the surface if i want to find the pressure on the surface of the earth then i have to see what is the fluid which is extending from the surface of the earth above then the fluid is nothing but the air extending from this point to the atmosphere it extends up to kilometers so that fluid extending up to kilometer then it is difficult to measure the pressure directly because i don't know the height of the atmosphere if i know the height of the atmosphere then suppose the height of the atmosphere is h then the pressure here will be rho density of the fluid that is air the acceleration due to gravity and h h is the height of the atmosphere but it is difficult to find the height of the atmosphere so therefore practically in the laboratory how to find the atmospheric pressure the concept is that the pressure is same at any horizontal level the pressure is always same for example the meaning is that if i draw a line over here then i take any two points suppose this point is x this point is y then if i say what is the pressure at this point you say the pressure is px what is the pressure at this point suppose you say that pressure is py and that pressure px and py must be same because this line is a horizontal line and any point lying on this line must have same pressure why because this fluid is at rest and for the fluid to be rest the pressure has to be same otherwise if the pressure here is more then uh, the fluid will start moving from this point towards this point if the pressure at y is more then the fluid will start moving from this point towards this point because the fluid is at rest that means pressure must be same using this concept of uh, pressure being equal at the horizontal level then what i'll do is he used he used this concept that he took the tube inverted it filled with mercury as soon as the tube was inverted inside the mercury what happened it was observed that some part the mercury starts uh, coming down the it was uh, they are filled now it is not completely filled some part of the mercury will be coming down and some portion of the tube will remain empty that means the mercury which is full up to say 100 cm when after putting it inside it comes down to certain level at what height now the this was earlier suppose 100 cm now it was observed that that this height which remains now is h that is found to be uh, 76 cm this is a 76 cm of mercury column this much of height of mercury is left that means <coughs> 24 cm of mercury goes into the vessel so there is a decrease in height of this mercury it was initially it was 100 cm filled up to 100 cm when you invert it then 24 cm mercury comes out only 76 left okay then <coughs> we know that if i draw a horizontal line horizontal line here and at this horizontal line i can say the pressure should be same just like this so the pressure here and the pressure here should be same what is the pressure at this point suppose this point is x and this point is y then i'll say that px is p1 what is py it is the what is present here it is the air present that it extends up to up to the distance where atmosphere is present it goes on extending so this pressure is the pressure of the atmosphere and this pressure is the pressure due to liquid column and because they are in the same line so the pressure of the atmosphere must be equal to the pressure of this liquid column here so this is how he found now so what is the pressure at this you know the uh, uh, how to find the pressure uh, due to a liquid column so it is density of the liquid that is here in this case is mercury g gravitational acceleration 
H, H is this H I'm writing here. This is equal to Py and Py is nothing but this is the atmospheric pressure. So therefore, he used this concept to find the pressure of the atmosphere and if you substitute the value, what you will get? The pressure of the atmosphere, this P0 is or pressure of the atmosphere. This is density of mercury G and H. These are all multiplied. Density of mercury you must have known it is 13,600 kilogram per meter cube. Acceleration due to gravity 9.8 meter per second square. Height is 76 centimeter, so it is 0 0.76 meter. If I cancel this meter cube and meter square will cancel here, meter will be left. So it is, uh, I will say pressure, so it will be Newton per meter square. I can write kilogram, I can cancel one m. So kg meter per second square is 4 and divided by accelerate uh, area it is the uh, pressure. So what I am doing is you see here if you check it out that kilogram meter, 1 meter is cancelled 2 is left. Now kilogram meter per second square is force kg meter per second square mass into acceleration is force. Force divided by m square that is area that is the pressure Newton per meter square. This whole thing is replaced by Newton. This is meter square. Newton per meter square. That is also known as Pascal. So how much Pascal is this? So 13,600 into 9.8 into 0 0.76 Pascal. This comes out to be, if you solve this, you will get 1.01 .01 10 raised to 5 Pascal or Newton per meter square. So this is the pressure of the atmosphere. I, for uh, any general purpose, you can neglect 1.01, .01. you can only write 1, or only you can write 10 to 5 Pascal. So, what happened is that use the common knowledge that the pressure has to be same at the same level. So, therefore, he took this pressure and this pressure. He, and he can measure this pressure because there is a liquid pressure here, mercury. This height, whatever pressure it exerts here, the same pressure will be here. And without even knowing the pressure of the atmosphere, we can always say because the pressure here is same as here. So whatever pressure is due to the 76 centimeter of mercury column, that pressure will be the pressure of the atmosphere. So this way he calculated the pressure due to 76 centimeter of mercury column at this point and then he said that this is the only uh, atmospheric pressure. So this way he found the atmospheric pressure using this concept. This instrument is known as mercury barometer which measures the pressure of the atmosphere. Okay. Thank you.